Hello everybody, it's been a while since my first video uploaded. Uh, I have been very busy recently. Uh, but I have received so many requests asking like to make a video how I make wraps and we caps. And today video I'm gonna show you how I do it. First of all we need clean wrap and mesh cloth, thread, and of course a wig stand, some rubber bands. Okay, let's get started. So I wrap the cling wrap around the wig stand and secure with the rubber band. After that, I place the mesh on top of it and then also secure with another rubber band. Last but not least, I'm wrapping the thread around the head to shave the wig cap. So I wrap it twice. Uh, to make sure that the thread is strong enough to hold the shape of the wig cap There you go So this is going to be the shape of the cap For the clothes, I'm going to use the fabric stiffener and also the hard coat clothes Make sure that you use the water resistant glue. So for the first layer, I'm applying the fabric stiffener and spread it out. You need to wait for a few minutes or an hour for it to be completely dry and then applying another layer of the fabric stiffener. After the first two layer completely dry, I apply the hard coat finishing. I'm removing the thread and then applying the glue all over the ear, the front ear area. I personally apply at least five to six layer of glue. After it's completely dry, I remove the wig cap from the wig stand and then remove the cling wrap. Then put it back to the wig stand to create the hairline. And then using the small scissor to cut the unwanted parts. And now you have a wig cap. To make work, I'm using the same clue and make sure the clue is water resistant <laughs> and you need a comb and a brush first of all I'm gonna take a small section of the hair out and then using the comb to spread it out evenly the thinner you spread it out the nicer the better the wig gonna look I don't want to make the wig look so bulky or too big and then I'm applying a thin layer of glue all over the top part of the weft If your wave is look uneven, then you can just cut it. Once I do wave, I just want to do as much as I could. After the first layer completely dry, I just flip it over and repeat the same step like applying another layer of glue. When everything completely dry, then you just you need know, to take it out and then cut those excess parts. They are now ready for the next step. Thank you for watching. I hope this video is useful and don't forget to subscribe to see more videos. Bye.